going on everyone elijah with aiden pressure washing here uh just ran to the shop today um figured i'd do a quick video just to walk around on kind of our 2023 trailer setup we've got a few different modifications we're going to make to it um but just kind of show you at least the the equipment that we have on it that we'll be using um and then kind of talk you through through that sorry in advance the shop is kind of a disaster we're in between seasons so we're still doing snow removal uh here in nebraska we just got a 13 inch storm last week uh, and then we are doing some washing because we've got 50 degree weather today tomorrow uh there may be some more snow moving in later this week so we're kind of mixing seasons which means we've got a lot of equipment um around the shop that we don't have when we're fully into a season so i'll flip you around here show you what we're working with so here's our trailer we've had this trailer set up for um let's see i think this is the second or third year we added this hot unit right here so this is a hot eight gallon a minute pressure washing unit it's got the diesel burner uh we added that at the tail end of let's see is 2023 so 2021 so we had it all of last year and we uh here's our ladder rack that we've got uh this is a 14 foot dual axle utility trailer um, that we bought just the trailer and then we had the ladder rack fabricated um, to fit the trailer which has been nice i mean we don't use ladders a ton when we're gutter cleaning obviously we use them uh, if we need to get you know access to a deck or something that doesn't have stairs we we use them but it's just nice to have them on the trailer instead of having to put the ladder rack on the the truck and carry them that way we can just have them on the trailer like that so moving around here We've got our, our hose reels. Currently we are using all Titan hose reels. This is actually the original hose reel that we got uh, when we upgraded to using a hose reel. So when we first started, we were just hand winding all of our hoses. And boy, I tell you, when we upgraded to that, uh, that first hose reel there, we thought uh, we were big time and it was awesome. Huge time saver. It was great. Uh, we had a much smaller trailer there i'll see if i can find a picture too of that that trailer setup that we were using i think that was a 10 or 12 foot utility trailer and we just kind of outgrew that but uh that's the original hose reel powder coated we uh, then moved on to the uh, aluminum hose reels that you see there, um, which obviously it's been great. Maybe someday we'll upgrade to the electric ones. I know the guys are wishing we would save the shoulders a little bit. Moving on, we've got our 12 volt system here. This is what we use for our soft washing, uh, whether we're cleaning concrete, if we're doing limestone cleaning projects, whatever it may be. Um, we use our soft wash. We, we do use it sometimes to wash houses, but primarily we're downstreaming when we're washing houses just because you know the, the mix ratio that we can get with our downstream injector works wonderful for, for us. Um, and we've got our Southeast soft wash, the original blend manifold. I guess it might be the, the second iteration of their blend manifold. I know they've got the batch buster now, which is looks fantastic and we've got to upgrade at some point, but this has been going strong for three years now um from time to time we'll change out the the check valves but that's really all we've had to do with it of course we're always flushing water after we use any chemicals or soaps or anything we do have right here this thing has come in handy if you're changing out fittings on hoses um you know anything like that to to be able to lock them in place instead of trying to fight with you know two crescent wrenches or whatever to be able to have this bad boy on the trailer has been huge highly recommend having that on your your truck or trailer whatever you may be using we've got our 525 gallon water tank so um typically we'll only carry about 150 maybe 200 gallons in it uh if we're just doing house washes things like that in town that's all you really need as far as a, a buffer level we do from time to time have to bring water out to job sites 
or if we know that we're going to be on a job site for a big project whether it be a, a parking garage cleaning or anything like that and we're not sure if the water pressure is going to be great if we're going to get good flow we'll make sure we come with a full tank that way it kind of keeps us ahead of the game we're not fighting water that's the the biggest pain is when you're washing you have to actually just stop everything to let the water fill back up so it's nice to have the capacity uh, we do have our electronic downstream injector that we use and we also have got uh, you know manual backups as well this has been fantastic for just saving time saving steps for the guys when they're out in the field you know you're on the back of the house and you want to switch to soap or switch back to water all you got to do is press a button and you're good to go you don't have to walk all the way back up and you know take a drop stick and drop it from a soap bucket to a chem bucket um, you can just do it by via button so back here we've got our eight gallon minute cold unit so we have two eight gallon minute pressure washers that we have uh, bolted on to this trailer from time to time we'll we'll throw a four gallon on the front there too if we're doing some wood restoration or wood cleaning as well we, we prefer to use the lower gallon a minute machines for that um, this is actually their original eight gallon a minute machine that we we bought uh, it's been four years now I think and it really now that we've got the hot, we, we kind of go back and forth between them. We've got a little bit of a battery issue. I don't know if any of you guys have ever struggled with that, but the uh, ground wire sometimes gets loose, so we've got to fix that. But see if I can get her to pop up here. So we've got 819 hours on it. Um, still under the thousand hour mark. I think we're maybe half that on the, the hot one. So still a, a, a young machine, a lot of life left in it. We have switched out the packing and everything in the, the pump, um, but really that's all that we've done. Of course, your oil changes every 100 hours, things like that, just general maintenance. And uh, it, it's been a workhorse. We'd love the Honda GX690 uh, with the general pump on there. Both machines have that, and it's, it's worked out really well. So we've got another hose reel back here. We always carry 400 foot of pressure hose 200 foot of garden hose and then we've got 200 of uh, chem line hose for our soft wash i kind of wish that was 250 for the uh the chem line for our soft wash um on our next rig that we'll show you guys once we get it hopefully later this spring um we'll have 250 foot on there so that that way it gives you just that extra 50 foot to get around a house if you need to sometimes you have to move the trailer to, to make it work with 200 foot back here we've got our um, house wash uh, batch mix basically which is just straight 12 and a half sh with some surfactants in it and then we've got uh, our drop stick in there for when we're using the electric downstream injector or using our um, manual one there that's basically just for downstreaming we do have a, a hundred gallon 100 gallon sh tank back there for doing any soft washing um we may be combining these two into one so we'll just have the 100 gallon on just to give us a little more um i guess space savings but we'll, we'll see how that goes kind of a quick fix we bolted down a, a little tote to uh put some buckets in and pump sprayers nothing fancy uh, really you don't need anything super fancy to get by eventually we'll kind of continue to upgrade and make things a little more pretty as we go but uh, back there I don't know if you can see it we've got our surfactant tank uh, that's hooked up to our blend blend manifold along with the uh, 100 gallon sh tank is hooked up to our blend manifold and that's for all of our uh, soft washing that we do so moving around here we actually had I don't know if you can see the remnants of a sign that we had on there we had a nice big aluminum sign with the business name phone number and everything we'll be putting back on there but uh, ended up ripping off and flying off into a cornfield somewhere we had one of the typical nebraska windy days and we had some 60 mile an hour wind gusts and apparently it ripped off didn't notice it until the next day we were in the shop kind of working on some stuff and uh Seth asked uh, if I had taken the sign off and I didn't know what he was talking about. And I looked and was like, oh, well, we can see into the back of the trailer now. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be getting another one of those. And thankfully, it didn't uh, cause an accident or anything like that. But uh, a real strong side guest must have just ripped it off, which is kind of crazy. 
and um, so some farmer in Nebraska got some advertisement for Aiden brush washing we'll see if he ever gives us a call to clean anything we do roll with a 20 foot and a 32 foot extension ladder that pretty much covers any range that we'll need as far as ladders go both aluminum to save on on some of the weight we do have a fiberglass ladder there that's uh, 26 and that thing by itself is just heavy too heavy to work with if you're um, just a solo operator and then we've got our surface cleaning surface cleaner we have uh, the custom rack that we had when uh, we put the ladder rack on he fabricated that for us so that works out real well as, as far as saving space in the uh, the truck and on the trailer and then we do have our mini mondo back there that we use for surface cleaning as well um, but that just goes in the back of the truck whenever we're whenever we're needing it if we're doing a bigger project with more square footage we'll bust that bad boy out and then this is going to be a huge mess i'm sure we did add a, a nice tractor supply toolbox to the front of our trailer just to keep some some dry goods things like that and some extra mixers some gloves tape for taping off outlets and of course water fed pole um, meters and our for our downstream injector uh, yeah just kind of random stuff that we keep in there but that's been nice to have storage wise so that's kind of the the setup we're hoping you know, right now we just kind of lay the guns down on the trailer. I don't really like that. I would like to have like dedicated storage spot for them. We can just clip them on or, or something to look a little cleaner. Maybe something for storing bulk five gallon buckets on the trailer, or, you know, brush heads, things like that. But uh, overall, I mean, this is this has been a great, great unit for us. Made, made us tons and tons of money. Um, it's fairly basic, you know, a little bit. Uh, more complex than the original trailer that we had that that was able to make us a, a decent amount of money to upgrade us to what we have now um, But it's just all about continuing improving tweaking things and uh, But this is pretty much what we'll be rolling with for for this season And then we'll talk about our second rig that we'll have out on the road. The plan is to go from one two-man crew to two one-man crew uh, with me kind of filling in where needed if we've got a bigger project and we need two guys to be rolling out on that but uh that's the setup we've got now uh, it's worked well if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below also if you could like subscribe it'd help us out we're trying to grow the channel uh the goal is to get to a thousand followers by the end of the year and i i know that's not a lot for a lot of people out there you know that have tens ten thousand hundred thousand followers but we're just kind of getting started on the whole YouTube journey and hopefully we can help some of you guys out. So if you do have any questions, feel free to let me know and uh, we'll get those answered for you guys. All right, we'll catch you all later. Thanks, bye.